Signs and symptoms of osteoporosis and what to do. Your bones stay in a constant state of renewal. The old cells of the bone are broken down while new ones take their place. This process is fastest when you're young and growing. As you age, the process becomes slower. If the breakdown becomes more than new cell formation, your bone mass density gets low, causing osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a condition that makes bones weak and brittle. The bones may become so fragile that even minor forces may cause a fracture. Though this condition affects men and women of all races, white and Asian women past menopause are at more risk for developing osteoporosis. Receding gums and dental problems are amongst the early symptoms of osteoporosis. If you smile often, you need to look out for osteoporosis because it may result in tooth loss. Several studies suggest that osteoporosis weakens the jawbone. The damaged jawbones loosen the teeth sockets and you may experience loose teeth or tooth loss. If left untreated, these jaw problems may worsen and increase the risk for oral infections and abscesses. If you have weak grip strength, you might be at the risk of developing osteoporosis. Researchers found a link between low hand grip strength and low bone density levels, resulting in osteoporosis in a study on the bone mineral density of postmenopausal women. Therefore, osteoporosis may manifest as a reduced grip as an early indicator or warning. Have you been complaining about chipped or easily broken nails lately? Chances are you have osteoporosis. Brittle fingernails and unhealthy nail appearances are common early manifestations of osteoporosis. Both nails and bones are composed of disulfide bonds that make proteins stick to one another. This disease causes the weakening or breakdown of the disulfide bonds in your nails, making them break easily. Easy splitting and vertical ridges also indicate osteoporosis. Osteoporosis leads to a loss of height in advanced stages. The vertebrae in your spine play an essential role in your height and posture. In osteoporosis, the vertebrae can weaken to the point that they get damaged and crumple, resulting in severe back pain followed by height reduction. The crumpling of vertebrae may also result in compression fractures, irritated nerves, or spinal cord compression resulting in weakness, numbness, and tingling in the relevant areas supplied by the nerves. The vertebrae and bone damage from osteoporosis can also cause hunched or stooped posture. Frequent fractures from falls or compression are common in osteoporosis. The low mineral density and reduced bone mass make your bones more susceptible to damage due to even minor impact forces or minute falls. In severe cases, even a cough or sneeze may cause fractures. The most common site of fracture in osteoporosis is the spine. Vertebral compression fractures frequently occur because your spine undergoes shifts in compression, and weak vertebrae cannot bear the load. These fractures are twice as common as those occurring in the hips and wrists in osteoporotic patients. People with osteoporosis often suffer from pain. Though osteoporosis itself doesn't cause pain, the damage caused to bony structures can trigger the pain receptors. Weakened and damaged bones cause inflammation, which may release chemicals that cause pain. Additionally, when these bones break, they result in severe pain due to damage to the surrounding tissues and nerves. The altered posture of your spine can also cause severe pain in the back. The symptoms of osteoporosis may also include fatigue. Changes and damages to your bones may leave you feeling weak and exhausted. Recurrent fractures and associated pain can also make you feel tired. The diagnosis of osteoporosis is made by assessing your bone mass density. It is measured by a machine that uses low levels of x-rays. This test is painless. In this test, you lie down on a table while a scanner passes over your body. Only a few bones are assessed in this test, usually the hips and spinal vertebrae. The treatment plan for osteoporosis is based on the estimated risk of you breaking a bone in the next 10 years. If the risk is low, you may not require medications. Hormone levels greatly affect your bones. Reduction in estrogen or testosterone levels tends to weaken the bones. Excess thyroid hormone can also result in bone loss. Additionally, overactive parathyroid and adrenal glands also cause problems. Your doctor may advise medications and hormone replacement therapy in such conditions. In women, hormone therapy involves estrogen use after menopause and helps maintain bone density. However, it may increase the risk for blood clots, endometrial cancer, and breast cancer. 
Therefore, this method is preferred in younger women or women who require treatment for menopausal symptoms as well. In men, osteoporosis is linked to an age-related decline in testosterone levels. Testosterone replacement therapy can improve osteoporotic symptoms. Besides treatment and medications, lifestyle modifications are also advised. Your diet plays a vital role in bone health. Low calcium intake can result in the development of osteoporosis by diminishing bone density. Eating disorders and unhealthy diets also contribute to the loss of bone mass. People who undergo gastric sleeve surgeries also suffer from osteoporotic symptoms. Therefore, a healthy, calcium-rich diet is often advised. Low-fat dairy products, leafy greens, and soy products are calcium-rich and reduce the risk of osteoporosis. You also require vitamin D to absorb calcium and improve bone health. People with osteoporosis are advised to sit in the sunlight because it is a good source of vitamin D. If you have limited sun exposure, your doctor may recommend vitamin D supplements. Regular exercise also assists in building strong bones, which slows down bone loss. Strength training and weight-bearing exercises can improve bone density and reduce the risk of falls in older ages. Excessive alcohol consumption and smoking also increases the risk for osteoporosis. To ensure healthy bones, quitting smoking and alcohol is often advised. It is also essential to reduce falls as you age to minimize fractures and damage to the weakened bones. You can prevent falls by wearing no-slip shoes, avoiding uneven surfaces, and using support devices like canes or walkers.